Frequency. What does the phrase, there is no substitute, mean? It's not a simple answer. For me, it started with the appreciation of the performance. Accolade's test drive was my first exposure to the power of the 911 Turbo. It wasn't the easiest to drive, but it soon became my favorite. Little did I know that fiction would someday turn into reality, but I'm getting ahead of myself. I can tell you that I was truly hooked after being behind the wheel for the first time. It was a 1986 928S 32-valve V8 engine that not only was fast, but it was comfortable enough to take me on a road trip from New York to Nashville. It was with the 928 that I joined the Niagara Region Porsche Club in 1990 and have been a member since. The club is an integral part of the Porsche experience. The people, the events, and all that goes with it are second to none. I've owned many Porsche automobiles after the 928. My first 911, a 1978 911SE, was quick, fun, and an icon in the Porsche lineup. Next came my 944. Same color schema as the 911SC and was flawless. Unfortunately, fate had other plans, and after owning it for only four days, I was struck by a 17-year-old making a left-hand turn through three lanes of traffic. After bouncing off three other vehicles, the car was totaled. Thanks to the build quality, I was unharmed. After receiving the insurance settlement, I purchased another 944. This burgundy beauty was with me the longest and went through a transition over the years from stock to street legal racer. It was with this car that I got my first taste of the DE events or driver ed events that the club hosts. One of my fondest moments when I was able to pass a 911 RS America at Watkins Glen. chills watching that footage. Of all the cars, I regret selling this one the most. If you hold on to a Porsche long enough, it becomes part of your family. Or at least it does for me. I purchased a 911 SC Targa after seeing an ad in the paper that was just too good to pass up, so I ended up owning both the 944 and a 911 SC for a time. Having them both in the garage was a beautiful sight. Lastly, bringing us to my current Porsche is my 996 Twin Turbo. After a good year of my wife putting up with my searching online for a replacement, I finally located one about six hours from my home. Mind you, this was after multiple out-of-state road trips that ended up being grossly misrepresented vehicles. Okay, maybe not quite that bad. After the first test drive, I have to admit that it did take me back to my first Porsche. Black on black, manual transmission, and when I hit that gas pedal, the G-force pushing me into my seat was like a hug from an old friend. There are not many cars that you can drive to work, pick up the kids from school, and yes, all of my cars actually had four seats, autocross, take to the track, get groceries, get nods and thumbs up just about everywhere you go, have a supportive club that actually provides value to its members, and with all that is safe and reliable. It's not just the car, and the great combination of performance, safety, and pure driving experience it brings. Nor is it just the corporation that develops, sells, and supports these world-class supercars. And it's not just the club that provides camaraderie, improves your driving ability, and organizes social and competitive events, but a unique combination that truly makes the phrase, Porsche, there is no substitute, ring true. <laughs>